This video is covering 3.3 practice tasks. The first thing that it asks you to do is to apply a filter to display only the bonuses that were less than $2,500. So you're on the bonuses tab and I have my solution sheet up here as well to kind of compare to if we need it. And in the bonuses drop down menu, you're going to choose number filters less than. So once you choose less than, you actually could type in 2,500 or you actually have a drop down um, option here when you're going to choose 253910 and this is what the solution file has um, if you click on hit OK here and then click on this and you will see number filters less than and it shows that option there. The next thing that the assignment asks you to do is to open up the products worksheet. With the products worksheet open you're going to be applying some different sort orders, and this can get kind of confusing. The table is already selected for you, and then I would go up to sort, do a custom sort, and what you're doing first is sorting by the category, and then within each category by unit price. So add a level and then choose unit price. That takes care of that task, and then the next task asks you to sort the data in descending order by category. So you're gonna choose Z to A, and then alphabetically by, and then I'm sorry, and within each category alphabetically by product name. So then you're going to choose product name and you're going to leave this A to Z. Go ahead and hit OK. And then this product sheet looks a little bit different than this one because we've already removed the duplicates, but you can see the sort order has been applied to the product name and the category columns. The next thing to do is to remove the duplicates. So on your, um, Table Tools Design tab, there's an option here to remove duplicates. So you're going to click Remove Duplicates, and the direction says Remove Duplicates so that there is only one entry for each supplier. So you're going to check all, uncheck all of the boxes except for Supplier. And then hit OK, and you'll see that your document now matches the results file.